Hi there, Duncan from 6.5 here, and today's pretty exciting because the launch of the new .au domains has uh, just occurred. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you go about setting up uh, the right bits of information so that you can get your priority request in and potentially just straight off register your .au domain. Now, the things we know at this point, and literally this started two minutes ago, is that uh, you must be the previous registrant of the .com.au, the .org.au, or the .net.au uh, in order to be able to complete this process and then immediately uh, register the domain. Now, if you own the .com.au and someone else owns the .net.au, that will end up in a contest process. And the details of that are available on the ALDA website or in the link below this video. Uh, now, if you are not contested, well, that's great. What you're able to do is request a priority token. And when you go register your domain, you can take that token, pop it into your domain registrar system and go right through and do it. So let's look at how we do this process, how we make that happen. So the first thing you can do is log into the priority status tool and you can see if your domain is going to be available. So in my case, I'm just going to use 6.5 and it's going to tell me if it's going to be uh, contested or not. Uh, let me, for example, put Coca-Cola in there and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so there is two. there are two uh, registrants or two domains, both the .net.au and the .com.au and uh, it's likely in this case, they're probably owned by the same person. But if there are multiple of that variation, this is what's gonna happen. And it will tell you if someone else has applied for it or not at this point in time, in which case you're gonna end up in a contest, potentially if that is not you. All right, so once you've figured that bit out, the second thing to do is go to priority.alda.org.au. And what you do is you pop in your domain name and your name as you are the one requesting it. You all know my name, so I don't have to hide anything there. I'm gonna do the capture and then click on submit. So what's gonna happen is that's going to send an email to the registrant email address. So in order for this to work, you need to make sure that uh, when you, uh, or your domain details, your registrant is, is your email address and not you know, someone who registered it for you back in the day. Um, you want to go and check out our domain name health checklist available on the website if you want to know more about how to fix that kind of stuff. So let's pop over now and have a look at our email and see if we've got something through. All right, perfect. So here's that email, came through pretty quickly as you can see. And I've got a, a link here and let's just read what it says. So obviously system generated message, uh, received a request for the priority contact ID if you don't get this email fairly quickly, then it means the registrant email address on your domain is someone different. Uh, so you'll need to find that person through uh, Alda and, and figure out who that is. Um, and then what it does is it gives you a link. So you click on the link. Okay, so that's gonna pop open a new tab and it's got a display details button, all right? So you click on the display details number and it's gonna give you an ID and an auth info. Obviously these are blurred out because these are for our domain and not yours. Um, but those two strings you're going to need to now copy and paste into your domain system. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe below. You can use those details to register your new .au domain with 6.5. Cheers.